All right, so we have Wampa and Flex. It is another goddess fish matchup. This is an ocean of fish that we're in. I'm going to keep making that pun because it's a dumb pun and I like it. But we're going to be watching Wampa. He's going to be trying to deal with... Uh, the much more uh, pressure-heavy flex playstyle that Flex has, rather than the more spacing-dependent playstyle that Weijer has. So let's see how it goes. Flex getting some early damage, and F tilt one. Oh, he goes for a flex actually. Not gonna be able to follow up any further on that. So Wampa behind in the damage game right now. The explosion comes through one forward air. He might be able to get more. He gets the back air. It's gonna be another forward air and another explosion. But the, th the final explosion does not link. Flex does get back on stage without any punish. Forward air does connect, but it does carry the punish the momentum and sends uh, Wampa back. So he's going to be looking... Oh, he air dot. He isn't able to do anything in that situation. And next, we're going to be watching all oh, that flex to break up. And up B will connect, but it's not quite there. So we are going to be seeing the dare, and that will kill. That will kill. All right, so we're going to be watching this is... A v oh, he's by ledge. This is not where you want to be. And a forward strong. That might... It does kill the side B actually killing flex right there opting to use that instead of air strong air strong halting the momentum But the side B actually increases your momentum off of the blast zone So that's very risky and not what you're wanting to do when you are stuck in that recovering situation He's gonna be pushing off uh, Wampa by because of that light shield and Wampa staying by this ledge He's definitely not wanting to be by this ledge But he's being forced into it the back air being stuffed by that forward tilt and we're gonna be seeing down throw explosion No, he goes for forward air and another forward air in order to put some pressure on now. Oh, he goes for a very very deep, a very deep dare. Wouldn't I, it might have killed, but that is a scary situation. This is gonna be another upbeat, not quite at uh, kill percentage. And we're gonna and let's see what follows up back air and some more damage. Another upbeat. Will there be a punish? Dare comes in, but a jab is the only punishment that comes through. And he's just gonna be tossing these explosions, but the platform is there to make Fish's life quite a bit easier. This is gonna be an up strong, but too much. Uh, there's just not enough traction for Goddess to really do spot punishes with up strong because she slides so much with any movement. And we're gonna be looking at a very difficult game to come back from for Wampa. It may be like high percentage, but being by the ledge versus a fish is very, very difficult to deal with, especially when your recovery is very negative on block and it's very easy to grab out of. So, this is a very scary situation. <laughs> so, the side B comes out, pressuring even further. F tilt does send Flex into a very deep spot, and F strong does come through, but it's gonna kill just barely. Uh so the explosion comes through. Up strong is the follow-up, looking for more damage. A third f uh, forward air goes for a very deep, deep <laughs> dare. That is a little, a little scary. Explosion comes through, but just a little bit off. It's going to be a back throw here with the, with the forward air follow-up and another forward air. Uh, flex opting to DI pretty far away from that one just to avoid the, the situation. And down tilt, roll down tilt, being Wampa's... Uh, self-proclaimed uh, Bane and it's gonna be the the forward throw forward air follow-up 131% He needs about 10% more until that up throw will kill So he's gonna be looking for it and the forward air does connect and I'm surprised we aren't seeing anything. Oh wait This is free percentage and nothing happens Little concerned air strong will cover some space Oh no Oh no, that was so unfortunate. The air strong making it so he couldn't, uh, he was just really afraid of getting back in. So we're going to Knoll. Hurtland was banned. Flex taking that game. That Monka S, that Monka S dumbbell, very terrifying. Yeah, Flex's dumbbell game is actually really good. He really likes his up-close personal pr pressure and his dumbbell game, I think is honestly one of the best. And oh, a good back air, but no additional follow-up from it. The explosion is gonna lead to a four tilt, but four tilt can be sending him a little bit too far in order to get anything more. Back air does connect, but he's just needing to get more and more damage. And oh no, he doesn't grab the ledge and he didn't expect it. He loses the stock rather quickly. Will Flex be able to recover from this? Maybe. So the back airs are coming through and more and more damage and this is an up beat onto the ledge and the down hit of that uh, up strong will will ruin him but goddess recovery 
definitely not that good. Having a massive period where there's no hitbox and the extreme amount of ledge invincibility on hit is very hard to deal with for Goddess. 107%, he needs about 30%, 20% more now to do up throw for the kill. It's gonna be another forward throw. He needs probably two pummels and an up throw will kill if he gets the grab. So double F toe gonna be spacing, can't grab his hands. And that's the explosion. Now he is in up throw uh, kill percentage. Explosion comes out. And he goes for the up strong, but it doesn't work for the up, up throw will kill. Up strong gonna kill around 120, four strong around 130, and then up throw being the other kill option. And oh, good explosion to back here, putting Flex into a negative situation, being on that ledge where a fish never wants to be. Oh, up throw does connect, getting just a little bit more damage. Next is. Oh, he's opting for some clutch for uh, clutch neutral bees, but he's just giving up a lot of stage control right here. It's just not working out for him. Oh, Flex could have gotten a, a grab there. He definitely needs to be willing to go closer to the ledge against Goddess Recovery. It's very easy to punish. 22 frames where nothing is happening, and you are free to punish it. It's extremely easy to grab, and there's a very small hitbox on it. You got this. It's going to be forward throw, uh, forward air to connect. Oh, no, Wampa! That's definitely not what he was wanting. He was doing an up B with a forward lean, and it's just red as that. And it's going to be three forward tilts to get the damage. And this is going to be down throw. No, he goes for up, uh, forward throw with the away DI. Either way, it was just going to be some damage. So he's going for the forward throw just for the damage by the looks of it. Forward, tilt, forward air connects. He needs about 10% more in order to get the kill. And he gets hit by the air strong, actually. So he's going to go towards ledge, and then up strong will kill. One to one. Bip. All right, let's see what the stage is going to be. He's going to be banning Meadow, so I'm expecting Pepper. Yep, it is Pepper. We are going straight to Pepper. This is game three. Is Flex good? All right. Neutral start, and they are starting up. Uh, Flex being the only... Uh, uh, fish that doesn't actually usually start with a side B actually I've noticed he re oh really good side B coming out from Wampa right there opting to take care of some damage it's a really good frame trap where if they go for the air dodge then they're in really big trouble and if it's on them it will detonate instantly rather than being a negative projectile against yourself it's also extremely good against any form of dodge so it's really good to see that damage coming through Next, we're going to be watching another side B come through, but the bear is going to be stuffing that. Uh, the side B is notoriously bad against any move that is a disjoint. Anything that disjoints destroys it as a for goddess approach. But against goddesses, she doesn't have a disjoint, so it's okay. Oh no, gets pineappled! Oh, that is so unfortunate for, for goddess. So even though this is pepper with a very low ceiling, goddess still requires about 140% for up throw to kill. So sad. Can this get 10,000 lights? We'll find out. And Upto is going to be getting some more damage there to break up the interaction. And we're going to be seeing the explosion trying to catch Flex on these interactions, but it's just not working out. Another Upto is going to be putting Lampa in a bad spot, but he does get the explosion to back her. Um, definitely going to be trying to look into if he can get any further extensions from that because it's just a, it's 24%, which is great, but it's just not yielding him good stage control right now. So he gets the forward tilt to up, up air and. Oh, F tilt comes through. Up air, very greedy up air from Flex right there. It is minus in that situation. Nair does come through. Air strong is going to connect, and that will kill. Next is the four strong. It's going to get punished by Dare to F tilt as well. Oh my goodness, this damage it is 54, 30% more damage, and then Wampa will be in a dangerous position where up throw, up air, up B will kill. So forward, forward air. Not going to be the, the move of choice right there. And up B connects 74%. And he's on platform. Platform lowers that percentage by about 10. And wisely just going in. Back throw. Up air connects. Goes for another up air. 129%. Needs a little bit more in order to secure the stock. Two more bashes. Up throw should kill here. No, it doesn't. Oh, man. Didn't get what he needed. And the down tilt coming out and just getting hit by that roll down tilt. It is quite insane. And there's the up throw. You need the exact same kill percentage to actually kill fish. Kind of, that's kind of depressing, actually. For, so fourth throw is going to be placing him pretty low, 104%. And, oh, up he will connect and kill. This is now two 
to zero. Flex, uh, two to one. Flex taking a, a nice lead. Are we going back to Null? Oh, no. We're going to go back to Ruins. That's my guess. Did you win on Null? Can I go back to Null? Uh, no. No. We're going Saturn? We're going Saturn. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. So, Goddess on Saturn is all about platform play because you got a lot of <laughs> movement options with these platforms where you can do forward strong off of them and then B reverse and play around it at a very. I didn't mean to put that side B out there. At a very interesting uh, play style. So, it's all about your clutch momentum changes on this stage. But let's see if he's going to be able to abuse it. And then up throw on these platforms will kill about 20% earlier per platform. Well, not 20%. It's like tw like 120 and then 130. So it lowers the percentage a decent amount. But it's just really important. So the explosion does miss. He does get counteracted by that forward tilt. Forward air, forward air going to be connection. And he goes for the nair just to break it up. And another nair getting worried about these interactions just taking too long. Forward air going to be spacing four fish, and Wemp not able to get the punish that he's looking for. Just throws out a side B. It's just going to be it's just going to be out there and not going to be able to take advantage of things. The explosion does come out. Forward air does connect as well. And we're going to be seeing the up strong trying to delay it with that up with that hit on the side B. Unfortunately, it's just not working out. And double up B getting some more and more damage. And Bear is going to be working against that. And we're going to be seeing up throw. It's not going to kill here. He's just trying to put him above him to get the re-grab for the up throw kill. So he's definitely trying to play around these platforms quite a bit more. He gets the side B on the wrong side, unfortunately. But it actually worked out in his favor because he didn't have it sending sent back into him. Goddess is a lot of tricky movement that looks really flashy. But once you figure out that she has pretty much two sets high, just a set height that she comes back out of... It's kind of easy to stuff. It's going to be down throw to forward air and then an explosion. Explosion does whiff, unfortunately. So the explosion comes out once again, just not quite working out. 148% to 50. Uh, flex can kill off of a stray hit, but just going to be able... Might actually have some trouble with securing this stock now that she can, de she can air dodge out of a lot of these up B situations. Oh, he doesn't... Oh, no. Oh, but he doesn't quite get it. And Wampa is going to be taking that stock. Three stocks to one, a 21% from that forward strong. Oh, Wampa going to be able to get the air, the B reverse, but he gets dared. No hitbox at the climax of that. And it's just not going to work out. He's going to be going for these up airs. Maybe an up tilt. No, he goes for the down throw, trying to get him onto that platform. It's all about the platform play. This is going to be a forward throw to get the extra percentage since he won't be able to get a follow-up. Up strong does come out, but it's just not going to do anything. The invincibility making it very difficult for Goddess to deal with. And now we're going to be seeing Flex probably go up to platform. No, he he misses the air dodge, and it's just not going to work out. Explosion comes out, and Flex does have invincibility here, so Wampa does need to be careful. And Explosion comes out off space just a little bit. Forward air comes out. Another explosion, and it's going to be the up B for another extension on that damage. 8% added by the initial hit, and it's going to be up throw. This might kill. No, it does not. Okay, so, but the next one will, and there it is. Okay, so now it is two to two. Ban pepper and uh, ban metal and no pepper this time. So where are we going? Are we going back to ruins? We may go back to ruins because that was where Flex won game one. Oh, uh, there is an update on Zage versus Dilapidator. Zage did win three to one, and we are going ruins. So our final game, this is the tournament game for both these players. Let's see how it's gonna end up. Will Goddess make it into the top four? Let's find out, or will Fish be the the conqueror that we all know he is. 
Very impressive, very strong. Oh, and one, two, three forward, uh, forward airs coming out. And another two. Maybe you might have been able to get the, the neutral B, but it's just not working out. Oh, uh, Nair to, to take the exchange. Is he going to be able to get more forward air? Will connect, and that's an upbeat kill. Really early, really strong, very dangerous. Fish is definitely showing that even though he ate some nerfs on that side, he's still a very strong character to contend with. And that's going to be a grab. Oh, no, he missed! And he got the down angle spike because the initial hit up. Oh, that was very fortunate for Rampo right there, getting very lucky on that initial hit. <laughs> and then Flex was also DIing extremely hard to the side. It's going to be down throw, explosion up, forward air, and no, no further follow-up from there. It's a nice explosion. But it just can't do anything more there. And the Uppy does miss. God is able to, to air dodge out now. And another explosion does come out. But will he be able to punish more? No, the down tilt comes out. That was actually F tilt, I mean, my apologies. And forward strong comes out. We just gotta be careful about these situations, man. Explosion comes through. 120% needs about 10 to 15% more in order to get the Uppy kill on. Well, okay, Uppy will kill kill Wampa, but he needs about 10 to 20, no, he needs like 25% more to kill with up throw. And now we're going to be seeing forward throw, so it, he just needs two pummels once he's, if he can get the grab. But he has to be very wary of this ledge. It's a very scary place to be when you are behind in stocks and using laggy moves like up strong. Up air will connect, now he just needs the grab in order to secure the stock. Explosion does, does not connect, it was barely off actually. The up air will connect, and no follow-up. He's not able to get anything from this. Back air is going to be pushing him to a bad spot. And he d he did not get hit, so he doesn't have invincibility, but the up throw will come through. Uh, taking advantage of flex buffering, uh, just mashing that roll as much as he can, and just roll <laughs> roll perfect shield. Roll perfect shield is what Wampa is looking for right there. Explosion comes through. One, two, fares comes through. Another explosion, up tilt. Forward air, the last forward air missing. This is going to be down throw. Does he get the DI wrong? He No, he does get it slightly wrong, but does get a little bit more follow-up. And that's going to be down tilt, and Wampa sees it coming this time. Wave that, uh, takes the step away. This is going to be F tilt. 54% damage versus 87% damage. We're going to be looking at the F strong from downtown going deep and now flex does have the ledge invincibility is over he oh the explosion did try to come out there oh that's a forward air and this is gonna he has to do the up b here and this is gonna be a shield drop no he doesn't get a shield drop and this is up this is forward tilt and he's gonna be able to punish even further no f strong comes through this is a free punish and no no punish this is oh my goodness we need to have something happen nair to break up the situation up air 120 percent needs 20 needs 25 percent more damage in order to get the kill uh, 11% more damage, so that's three pummels. Will he be able to get that damage? And it's gonna be one, two. Does he get it? Does he get it? He does get it with two pummels. Wampa taking the set. Three to two. That has been the closest set of the tournament. Well played on both players.